back to a new review for you guys today. We're talking about the upcoming horror film, Malignant. Between Candyman and Malignant, this is easily one of my favorite times of year because I'm such a huge horror fan. And around this time of year, we get an influx of horror films, which even better, though, is the fact that we're getting a new James Wan horror film because it's been such a long time since he's done a horror film. It's been five years since The Conjuring 2, and now we get Malignant coming out to HBO Max in theaters today. This film follows Madison, who's paralyzed by shocking visions of grisly murders, and as her torment worsens, she discovers that these dreams that she's been having are, in fact, terrifying realities. One thing that sticks out about Malignant right off the bat is just how fresh and original the film feels. Trailers really don't do it any justice, but this certainly is one of the more unique and unorthodox horror concepts that only someone with enough pull like a James Wan could pull off from a major motion picture studio. It's clear with this film that James Wan is going for a more Americanized spin on the giallo genre that was popularized in the 60s and 70s by films like Blood and Black Lace by Mario Bava and also Suspiria by Dario Argento. Those films in the genre are known for their mystery and thrills and also their bloody gory action, which is exactly what Malignant does. It definitely delivers on the bloody and brutal intense action. We along with our lead character witness so many gruesome murders throughout the film done by this mysterious killer which I do really love the design of. I could definitely see him becoming maybe a horror icon in the future. I don't want to get too ahead of myself but he has such a cool creepy design. From the long coat that they wear, the black gloves and also this amazing golden dagger that they wield all of that stuff is pretty iconic and scary and maybe it's just a horror fan in me but I saw that weapon in the trailers and especially used in the film and I want one of those. I need a prop replica of that. So fingers crossed somebody out there make a prop replica of it because I will throw my money all at you whether it be Warner Brothers or someone that they license it to. I do love that James Wan has been able to branch out and do blockbuster films in recent years that aren't horror whether it be Aquaman or Furious 7 but I do think that the bread and butter of his techniques are much better suited for horror films. He's a master behind the lens no matter what genre you put in front of him but he is so great when it comes to horror as he's always able to get these beautiful and dynamic shots while at the same time delivering so much terror and tension with or without jump scares there of course are some jump scares you know it's modern horror it happens but even in some of the other films he's directed like Insidious or The Conjuring there are jump scares but I do think that since he is a master of horror he's able to create some great genuine jump scares that I actually do appreciate there's one in particular in this film that really got me and it's one involving a washing machine but with that added experience from directing blockbusters like I Aquaman, I think he's actually been able to implement some of that great stuff into his horror films as well because there's surprisingly a good bit of action in this film. I definitely wasn't anticipating going into the film. I was expecting just straight up horror. As far as the performances in the film go, the one that is the major standout to me is our lead, Annabelle Wallace. This is probably my favorite performance of her, although the bar is kind of low because the stuff I predominantly know her from are the Tom Cruise mummy film and also Annabelle. You know, she was in the Annabelle, so I guess that's why they have the connection between James Wan. But I think she did a really great job here, especially as you do really feel for her and feel Feel her pain as she sees all these horrifying murderous dream like situations because I definitely wouldn't be able to put up with it and I'd probably be much like her in this situation if that were me. Of course this is a spoiler free review but I will say that the final act of the film, the third act, the climax and all that stuff, it's pretty bombastic and it was quite shocking and it wasn't really a thing that I thought of going into the film and it absolutely is insanity. I mean they go a little bit heavy with the CGI elements as well. It's some of the kind of crazy stuff like I said earlier on that someone wouldn't get greenlit if they didn't have a lot of pull like James Wall. On. There's also a big twist in the story that gradually does build up throughout the film and the climax that, like I said, it's insanity, but it makes sense. I feel like it's going to definitely be one of the things that divides audiences when it comes to how they feel about the film because it is quite a weird finale, I will admit, but I mean, that's probably like the only rocky part of the film that I feel. I do have to say, this is not really a gripe with the film itself, it's more of the marketing. I feel like the marketing of this film has not really shown the full potential and the full concepts of Malignant, and that's something that's really unfortunate because I do think the marketing itself for the film hasn't been very great. I mean, there's been next to no marketing. Just the fact that most people aren't really talking about this film, even though it's a James Wan horror film, it just doesn't sit right with me because James Wan is a master of horror. We have the Saw franchise, the Conjuring franchise, and Insidious franchise thanks in part to James Wan but it feels like the marketing has just been so lackluster with this film and I really am nervous to just see how general audiences feel about it because of the fact it is such a weird film it's rated R so of course a lot of people are going to be turned off by that because they can't see it and the fact it's going to be on HBO Max same day so all those people are probably going to watch it at home instead because why not I mean you don't have to just go to the theater and see it because it's on HBO Max so I am nervous in that aspect I do think this is not one of my favorite James Wan horror films but I do think this is a still great 
great, very stylish slasher with some really cool concepts in it, and I really recommend checking it out. I can see this definitely being almost like a cult classic in a sense, even though it is James Wan, kind of like in the same sense as Dead Silence, because that's a film that I really like that James Wan was involved in that pretty much nobody went and saw, and now it's like a cult classic now and everybody enjoys it. So hopefully at least Malignant does well enough where we can at least remember it as a cult classic, if not a big box office hit, because I'd really like to see more from this in some shape or form. But that's just me. Now that you've heard my thoughts on Malignant, make sure you share your thoughts down below when you get a chance to check out the film. As I said, it's in theaters, but also going to be on HBO Max as well. So either way, check it out the film. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. If you're a fan of Malignant, not a fan of Malignant, where did you rank this among all the James Wan films? Because he has so many fantastic films in his filmography. And it's really hard to pick, especially the horror ones. Like I said, a master of horror. But thank you so much for checking out my reviews. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you keep up to date with all my reviews, tracks, and unboxings, and more on the channel. But next time, I'll see you guys later.